Hello, this is Ben Kemper auditioning for Sherlock Holmes and the Mystery of Portage Park, and this is Side One, Sherlock and Mr. Kinklebaum. There's no trace of them. Asphalt, no sign of footprints, blast. Time is essential. I hear you have a duplicator in the house. A doctor, isn't it? Uh, no, just Mr. Mr. Kinklebaum. Uh, here's my card. I suppose you could say that uh, <laughs> inventing's more of my hobby than my actual job. Ah, huh. an enthusiast. That will do quite nicely. This is your machine here, and you have successfully tested the process on humans. Well, I duplicated our dog the other day. Ah. Well, that shows that the basic principles are in order, and time is sufficiently of the essence that we may as well try it. Watson, if I or myself should otherwise, um, disintegrate, and I am unable to see this case through, I trust you will carry on without me, and that you will take much more care in applying my methods than I have seen you do in the past. Just remember that the colour of a suspect's outfit is not necessarily the most important clue to be gained from their appearance. Note fingernails, shoes, and sleeves in that order. Mr. Kinglebomb, I understand that the duplicator has some few uh, tweaks to be ironed out first. Oh, uh, well, that's, that's nothing to worry about. Humor me. Well, it's really just the one little quirk. Uh, all the duplicates come out with a different coloured streak on their faces. Uh, for the dogs, it was just under the right eye. Uh, the oddest thing. And sometimes they burst out into song at inopportune times. The dogs were howling up a storm, but then we all like a little song now and then, don't we? Do we? can also be a bit reckless too. Something to watch out for. At any rate, to create a duplicate, you just simply push this button here. To destroy a duplicate, push this button. We have to destroy them. Oh, well, I don't know about have to, but they don't mind being destroyed, honest. It's a bit odd. And the mechanism for creating a duplicate well, that's just a little bit of uh, <clears throat> atom distribution and reassembly. Isn't that a bit dangerous? Uh, well, no, no, not really. Thank you.